so the Lord has put a scripture in your heart, in your spirit. Please share it with us. Deuteronomy 32 and 2. Hallelujah. The Lord spoke um, like the dew in the morning. And um, in 32 2, it says, My teaching, let it fall like a gentle rain. My words arrive like morning dew, like sprinkling rain on the new grass, like spring showers on the garden. For it's God's name I'm preaching and respond to the greatness of God. Well, there's many uh, places that he references the Jew. Mm -hmm. And um, that scripture is one. And then Psalms 110 and 3 mentions the dew in the morning also. Mm -hmm. It says, your people will offer themselves willingly in the day of your power, in the splendor of holiness, from the womb of the dawn. Your young men are to you as the dew. The womb of the morning refers to the beginning of the morning when the dew appears and symbolizes a freshness mm. and a strength of youth, encouraging people that God will provide youthful vigor when they fight with him. Mm. And that he will provide substance when they battle alongside of him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the morning. Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let you rest upon all our souls, our hearts. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. The Lord's ruling power. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rue thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. Thank you, the Lord has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at thy right hand. Shall strike to the kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the head over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 32 is really long. I won't take time to read it right now in this space, but I urge you to go back and read it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look at um, verse 9. My God. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He found him a desert land and in the waste, howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As an eagle stirreth up her nest, fluttereth over her yang, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, beareth them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. He made him ride on the high places of the earth, that he might eat the increase of the fields. And he made him to suck honey out of the rock, and oil out of the flinty rock, butter of king, butter of kind and milk of sheep with fat of lambs and rams of the breed of Bashan and goats with the fat of, of kidneys wheat, kidneys of wheat and thou didst drink the pure blood of the grape. Mm -hmm. I urge you to go back and read over uh, Deuteronomy 32. Perhaps you can do it before your day gets busy. If, it, if your days are like my days, they go very quickly and they're full. But if while we're in this quiet place of prayer, after we make prayer and intercession, if you could go back and read, hallelujah, I'm sure you'll be blessed. And of course, Psalms 110, just, just read it. Just let it get into your spirit. Let it build up your faith. Let it clear up your vision. Let it encourage you. May it strengthen you and refresh you. That's what the word of God does. Hallelujah. He sent his word to heal us to deliver us and to, to lead us throughout this path of life. Hallelujah. Thank you.